Hello and welcome to Geeked Play Studio Tutorials and this tutorial I want to look on some optimization when you work with a real ray trace preview so in real time. Uh, for example right here we have our um, scenery and you can see it's kind of already rendered in old fashion so if we want to see some better details we can enable lighting, atmosphere, um, texturing, we can click uh, ray tracing preview and you can see it's given us very good preview. However, um, what's happening if I add at this point, decide to add displacement? The problem with the, um, the ray tracing preview, it does not on its own will render some of displacement. So if I go and let's go to shader, displacement shader, and I'm using fake stone, for example. Um, let's connect this between our compute terrain. And you notice right here, we don't have this. So to actually help to render we need to disable okay and as we disable you can see right here we start rendering some of those displacements okay and when the um, main preview kind of finish render that we can switch to the ray tracing and it does now showing more accurate so the same things happen if i take and i rotate for example oh, let's go to this direction okay so I rotate my camera and remember the, um, no, let's bring it a bit down, the terrain right here, it's going by displacement. So if I release it, you'll notice it does not actually render. So we're missing piece of terrain. Um, in some cases, what is recommend to do it is when you rotate, just disable your um, ray tracing, let it render. And when you want to preview in more accurate, just click to enable. In this case, you will see accurate rendering and you can also enable additional atmosphere, lighting and texturing so we can preview. This way you will have it more accurate and faster render. So just overall, if you decide to you uh, want to enable and rotate around, just switch from ray tracing. And again, when it's a done rendering, Okay, let's go right there so we can see our fake rocks. Okay, so when it's done kind of computing with the rocks, okay, and we have the details right here to see how many, okay. Then when it's finishing, we can go back, click, and now we have a very nice preview with a ray tracing. So this is kind of small tip if you have some problems. And overall, um, sometimes maybe instability, I think they fix it most of this, but um, if you try to readjust with the ray tracing preview enable, you may experience some problems with applications. So just overall have it for now, just have the habit to uncheck, to do your stuff. And just think this is more advanced preview of your terrain just when you're done in ready like render so if before you click in your pre-render something treat like same way and hopefully this will help you to optimize the work in a terrigen 4.